can be hard not to think of the web as a great equalizer. One that has granted unparalleled access to a treasure trove of information and connections to all who log on. Imagine, if you can, that you can't use a keyboard or mouse to navigate. Now, turn off your screen and try to get to a new website. These are the challenges the visually impaired and individuals with severe tremors or paralysis face when it comes to accessing the web in a way most of us take for granted. From that perspective, the World Wide Web doesn't seem so free and accessible. That's why web accessibility should be at the forefront of any choices we make when designing and developing websites. Web accessibility is about breaking down barriers that prevent visitors from interacting with the content of a website. There are moral, ethical, and legal reasons to make websites more accessible. No matter the reason, you can accomplish this by following defined guidelines when coding a site. That's it. In many cases, a few characters or words of code in the right place will do the trick. You can see the important conversations happening around accessibility, led by the accessibility community, by searching for the A11Y hashtag on Twitter and other social media. There are three levels when measuring accessibility. A, which is the bare minimum. Double A is the target level for many businesses. And triple A is typically reserved for special dedicated software. The guidelines are organized around four principles. Perceivable. Information and user interface components must be presentable to users in ways they can perceive. This includes standards such as providing text alternatives for non-text content. Operable. User interface components and navigation must be operable. For example, all functionality must be available from the keyboard. Understandable. Information and the operation of user interfaces must be understandable. This includes, for example, a requirement to identify the primary language of the page. Robust. Content must be robust enough that it can be interpreted reliably by a wide variety of user agents, including assistive technologies. This means being certain to use valid markup, for example. Conforming with level A brings basic compliance to your site. With each level you step up, the more accessible your site becomes. Hitting the basics of web accessibility is relatively easy, although it becomes more complex when you dive deeper into issues and solutions. Even if you can't get full WCAG 2.1 compliance right away, there's still plenty you can do to make a website more accessible. Like help screen readers identify the primary language used in the document, which you can do in HTML. Every page title should adequately and briefly describe the content of the page meaning each page has a unique title that distinguishes it from other pages. Make sure all images include equivalent alternative text. So the pick of your company headquarters, for example, would be defined as this. Without the alt, the image doesn't exist for a visually impaired visitor, search engines, or people who have turned off images. Everything should be workable from a keyboard, as many people cannot use a mouse, including users and individuals lacking fine motor control. If your site is workable from a keyboard, it will also be workable from an assistive technology that mimics a keyboard, such as speech input. Without a transcript, your audio file is likely inaccessible to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. As an added plus, your transcript will be searchable and add to your SEO. You can even use a transcription service if you don't want to do it yourself. Users should be able to determine the purpose of the link from the link alone and or its context. Missing open or closure brackets can really mess up a screen reader, so be sure your pages are properly formatted. You can use this markup validation check to find potential errors. As a uh, person working in the space, it's easy to complicate things. And um, as well there, you can get lost in the legalese. Whenever you get down to legal things, it can seem more complex than it really is. So I say, keep it simple. The simple way to, to put it is just experience or accessibility. I can define it in, in literally one sentence, um, text behind visual elements. Once you know that, you can pretty much do anything. You know the, uh, you know, the, the best way to do it, the most compliant way to do it, which is page titles, make sure you have them. Uh, 
images, videos, right? So make sure your videos have subtitles. If not, you can even get them transcribed. There are also tools to do that uh, and have that somewhere on your page. Um, and then images, make sure your alt tags are properly filled in and you can even optimize them for SEO. But all of that relates, relates back to just keeping it simple. Perhaps you'll notice that a lot of these items are also good for SEO. So you'll get a double bang for your buck on any accessibility work you do. These steps are just the beginning but they will greatly improve a site's accessibility with minimum work. You can check out the web content accessibility guidelines to see what else you can do. The tough thing about boosting accessibility is that there are a lot of rules to follow to lift your site up to a high accessibility level, especially if you're working with legacy code. However, even if you're never planning to make it all the way to WCAG AA compliance, you owe it to your users to take as many steps as feasible to make your content accessible. You can assess a site using accessibility assessment tools like Chrome DevTools, A-Checker, and PowerMapper. If you're a WordPress dev, you'll be happy to hear that as of March 2016, all new or updated code released into the WordPress core and bundled themes conforms to WCAG 2.0 guidelines at level AA. In the WordPress theme repository, you can search for themes with the accessibility ready tag. Plugins are another story, as they're not audited by anyone for accessibility. Ensuring web accessibility is an ongoing process. Make it automatic by becoming familiar with WCAG guidelines and best practices. Build a checklist into your workflow and make sure new content meets accessibility needs. And scan and update existing content. Web accessibility checkers will give you an idea of your starting point. From there, you can organize a plan of attack that will make your site open to all users, or at least as many as possible. Any step you take in the right direction is a good step. Hey devs, have you been enjoying this series? If so, please like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell, so next time, you don't miss the newest episode.